kind of a big deal. Ooh, we got a sexy, pricey, but a goodie. And of course your boy didn't pay retail. I don't know if it just happened to fall off the back of a truck in the middle of Jersey. I don't know where in Newark. But just to give you an idea, this shit is dope. And it's another Killian fragrance that I can add to my collection. And I don't anticipate on flipping. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put y'all onto this fragrance. Because it's sultry and seductive, fam. Sexy Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is a yeah, ba 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 boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I get right into the hullabaloo. The fragrance is none other than Killian's Light My Fuego, aka Light My Fire. Listen, if you want to talk about a fucking delicious vanilla and vetiver combination with tads, nipples, drops of honey and a little bit of a hay essence, kind of like the hay essence that Churgy gives me, the splash of cumin, and that Woody sitting by the fireplace smoky essence that your boy is getting from his nostrils, this might be a fragrance that you want to sample, fam. Oh, delicious. Yo, this is, let me just spray daddy, because that da da daddy wants to smell this joint right here. See right here? You get honey and vanilla. This is one of these fragrances that it's so well blended and concocted to my schnoop that I can get all up in here. And smell it, baby. It's just good, man. Mm. It's got a little bit of a funk here. It smells like that raw organic honey, you know what I'm saying? Not that pasteurized shit that smells kind of, oh, this smells delicious and sweet. That raw pasteurized shit smells kind of funky. Like, oh, this came out of the bee's asshole. Very sweet, vanilla. You definitely get that vetiver component. The cumin is definitely the part that has that little bit of a, mm. Just like adding cumin to a seasoned piece of beef. Yeah, it smells funny, but when you put the meat in your mouth, it's delicious. Wow, that sounded wrong. The fun part of this fragrance is that it's definitely a softer masculine fragrance and on the dry down, you get a little bit of a, of a little booze vibe. And daddy can spot booze cause I'm a little bit of a lush. So you got a little bit of a booze, you got vanilla, you got honey, you got cumin, you got that patchouli. And it's got a cozy quality to it. That big hoodie snuggie that you want to share with your significant other while you're playing a little pocket pool in her pants. I think one of the fun features about this fragrance that produces at least on my skin is that it's not linear at all. The change factor is there literally from opening to dry down. So you start off with a blast of sweet vanilla. Then it winds down into like a little bit of a dirty cumin, honey, and vanilla component with that vetiver body. Then when it starts drying down, you get a little bit of a hidden booze element. Like you chilling by the fireplace snuggled up on that bearskin rug, right? You just drip molasses all over yourself so shorty can start licking your absolutely asymmetrical nipples. And while she's rubbing cream all over your ass, she's roasting a marshmallow, and then she comes and just drips it on your chest and shit. This is getting real Cinemax right now. This fragrance is actually a very enjoyable fragrance. It's got masculinity, it's got sweetness, it's got boozy, it's got vetiver. It's got a little bit of everything. This is actually a great, great buy. Not for retail, because <laughs> shit hurt my wallet. And when shit falls off the back of the truck, Gooba catches it. Is this a ball spray? Absolutely it is. Excuse me one second. Mmm. That three foot radius, so you're getting a sweet vanilla honey and vetiver. That dirty coming ain't coming yet. Mmm. If you're a Killian fan and you got a little bit of coin to dig in, or at least sample this joint, I think this is a dope fragrance for me personally. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Shout out to the plug. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's the biggest in the motherfucking game, B. Maybe I could flip this for some paper. Smooches. Who's best? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who's best? For the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>